What's up guys, Stone here. Welcome back to Tune Up Tuesday, where we answer all questions involving duck hunting or duck calling. Today, we have a question from Vitals Incorporated. Okay, here's my question. How do I know when and when not to call it ducks? Well, good question, because I've seen a lot of squandered opportunities in my day when it comes to that. So, number one rule, call at the tail feathers. I've always heard Phil say that. Call at their butts. Don't ever call when a duck is flying towards you or angling towards you. You want to call at their tail feathers. Now when ducks commit to a decoy spread, they'll start to circle. Now. Say you're hunting in a pit blind and you look up and ducks are flying in a bee. That's what we call flight birds. Odds are you're not going to call those ducks to your decoy spread. Odds are those ducks won't hear your call. They're so high. So if they're in a bee, unless you just don't have anything else to do and you want to practice your duck calling, you can scream and holler at them all you want. You A lot of people just like to hear themselves do that. Which, you know, if you own if you own the blind, go ahead. You know, give it a whirl. But you know, odds are those ducks will not commit to your decoy spread. Now, if you see a group of ducks flying tight together in a ball, those are the ones that have the look. If they have the look, they're flying tight, they're in a ball, they're looking for a place to light. Those are the ones to target. If you see those, if you do things right, you have a good chance of getting them in your decoy spread. So what you want to do is when you see those ducks, you want to let them know that you're there. Now, if they're flying towards you, don't bloat because they're going to see your decoy spread. And if they see it, after they fly by, then you let them know, hey, we're down here. You give them what they call a comeback call. Five to seven notes, four, five, six, seven notes is all you need. You give them that. If they like it, they'll lock up and they'll turn. Now, if they're flying away from you, you hit them again. If they like it, they'll lock. And they come towards you, do not blow. Be real still. Get down. Do not put your face in the air and look at them. Be still. Head down. Once they go by, you turn around, you hit them again. If they like it, they'll lock. And repeat as many times as necessary. So, all being said, if you don't sound like a duck, you don't ever blow a duck call until you learn how to sound like a duck. It's real simple. Record yourself blowing a duck call and then listen to a recording of an actual duck. And if they don't sound similar, you need to practice. So in the meantime, if you don't sound like a duck on a mallard hen call, get you one of these whistles and you just hum into it. You just sit there and do that and be still. Keep your head down. You'll kill more ducks. So, always blow with their tail feathers. And if you don't sound like a duck, don't ever blow a duck call. Ever. You know, you, you guys, the duck hunt, you know what I'm talking about. There's always that one guy. That one guy, he's got to blow his duck call no matter what. He don't know when to blow it and he don't know how to blow it. So the best thing to do with them is you tell them to rack it. You rack that thing, sit down, shut up. You just be there for moral, moral support. And like Sai, for the troop morale. He keeps the troops laughing and giggling and carrying on and whatnot. So there's my tip. Hope that answers your questions. Keep them coming. Like and subscribe. We'll see you next time.